We're going to catch a fever this morning in Tully's Tales, Cat Trap Fever. It's the name of one woman's initiative to remedy the overpopulation of cats in neighborhoods in the Tampa Bay area, specifically Pinellas County, but she has resources everywhere. Jessica Kelly tells me she loves cats so much she wants to see less of them. Less cats and kittens in bad situations that haven't been spayed or neutered and continuing a bad cycle. I followed her through my neighborhood in Tampa Heights and she immediately spotted several feral cats and people who were feeding them with possibly no intention of trapping and getting them fixed. If she sees a bowl of food in front of someone's home, she'll offer her services and drops a business card there when she can't speak to people directly. She'll help trap the cats, take them to vets, and after an appropriate amount of time, return them to the same location. But that's not all she does. At Cat Trap Fever, we kind of do things differently. We are not just cranking out spay and neuter. Um, we want to align people with the resources that make sense to them to get the animals fixed sooner rather than later. Um, we will not shy away from a cat with illnesses. Uh, we will not shy away from fostering an angry, angry cat who needed more medical attention. One of Jessica's goals is to cut down on euthanizations as well, while also tending to the overpopulation. She tells me there are more cats right now than people who can afford to house and feed them. She works very hard. So far this year, Cat Trap Fever has taken over 800 cats to get fixed and have networked more than 330 into good homes. That is making a real difference, and I'm very happy to spotlight her organization this morning on Tales. Do you know of something good happening involving a rescue pet or rescue organization? I want to hear about it. Join the Tully's Tales Facebook group.